My favorite HDR software, Aurora HDR, partner up with the Loop Deck to make editing faster, easier and even more fun. The newest version of Aurora HDR has a lot of improvements, boosting performance and integration with the Loop Deck. So let's check it out. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. If you're not familiar what the Aurora HDR is, I have a full review about the software, you can watch it right here. But basically Aurora HDR is a great piece of software for creating realistic HDR images. And they partner up with Loop Deck. Loop Deck is this beautiful console, firstly made for Lightroom to make editing faster, easier, more fun. So now they made the Loop Deck Plus version that uh, supports editing with the Aurora HDR. Uh, Capture One and Lightroom 2. So today I will show you how you can use this beautiful console to edit your photos with a lot of fun. Right guys, here in Aurora HDR I will load these six different exposures of the same scene, same image to create stunning HDR image. So I just need to press this create HDR and wait for a few moments for Aurora to load them and to stack them together. Right guys, as you can see Aurora HDR just merged all six exposures into one to create this stunning HDR image. And this is just quick before and after, you can see really nice result. But now I can tweak this image, I can push this image even further by tweaking all those sliders at the side. And now I will use the loop deck to make this editing faster and much more fun. I can tweak those sliders without even looking at them and I don't even need to care about all those numbers. I can even edit this image in a full screen mode and in that way I will have much more fun doing the editing process. So let me show you that. Right guys, here in the loop deck I have a button that says screen mode and when I press that button I can go a full screen with this image and now I can start editing. But before I go full screen let me just show, I will press it again to go back and let me just show how this works. For example, Look at this exposure slider. When I tweak this exposure knob, I can move really nicely in real time this slider and I can tweak my image. If I want to reset my exposure, I can just press it and it will reset. It's completely the same with all other knobs and with these wheels. If I want to tweak something and then I want to reset, I will just press it and that's it. Right, now let's go full screen and let's tweak this image a little bit. First, what I want to do it's to maybe lower the highlights. So I will go with the highlight knob here and just lower it a little bit, open the shadows a little bit. And now maybe I want to make, I want to add contrast like this. And I want to make those uh, yellow colors a little bit brighter and more saturated. So for that, I have all those wheels right here. I have hue, saturation, hue, saturation and luminance uh, modes. So I can go to luminance because I want to change luminosity and now I can choose yellow and just tweak this a little bit and I will make yellows a little bit brighter and I can make greens a little bit brighter or I can even tweak both of them in the same time. So this is really, really fun to do. Now I can go to saturation and just tweak the saturation, boost the saturation of the yellows and that's it. Now I can maybe make the sky a little bit darker. I can add a polarizing filter so I can tweak this for adding polarizer filter on the sky, so this is nice. And I can make the sky a little bit more saturated, so I'll use the blues here, blue colors like this, and my sky is a little bit more saturated. All right, now when I finish with that, I can play with a lot of others. I can add vibrance, I can do temperature tweaking, maybe I want this image to be a little bit warmer like this, why not? And now I can go out of the full screen mode and I have this L1, L2 and L3 buttons so I can play with that. This is for brush, this is for radial filter and this is for regular gradient. So I will play, press L1, all right, L1 and now I have a brush. So with this dial here, I can really easily change a brush size, which is really, really convenient and fun to do, all right? And now I can go make this brush smaller and I can go with the plus icon here and add new adjustment layer. And now I can just brush here, right? Something like this. And I can tweak the exposure, make this house a little bit brighter, as you can see, right? Just to make it a little bit more visible on the screen. And that's it. Now I can go and add a new adjustment layer. 
like this and I can press L3 to add the gradient and I will just drag it down like this. And now we can play with this. I can add maybe a little bit more clarity to the sky. I can even boost saturation of the sky a little bit more. I can maybe make sky a little bit more darker and maybe lower the temperature to make it colder and more bluish. So this is this is really really nice. Now I can go and add a new adjustment layer, right? And now I can tweak, I don't want a gradient, I'll just go out of this, okay? And now I can go again to full screen mode and I can see before and after. I have a button here for before and after and then I can see like this, this is before and this is after. Really nice, really fun to do. So let's go back to normal mode and if I like now I can go and add even more saturation, a little bit of the vibrance and so on and so forth. I can exit to full screen mode and then I can press this dial to enter the crop mode and I can rotate it, make it something like this if I want and if I'm satisfied with that I will go and press it and that's it. If I don't like this crop I can always undo or redo things. So I will undo this once, twice like this and basically we are done. I can go down here and I can go and add a little bit of vignetting. So maybe this just a touch and we are basically basically done with this image of course i have some other buttons here for example this c2 will zoom to 100 percent and to fit the screen so if i'm a full screen mode i will zoom it 100 percent and then back to fit screen i can use these those two buttons to unzoom and zoom in increments so this is nice too all right and there are some other buttons here that will probably be available in the next update of uh, Loop Deck software. So you always need to keep the Loop, De uh, Loop Deck softwares up to date. Now I can go and export this image, save it to hard drive and maybe send it to some social network. So here is the button dedicated for exporting. I will just press this and I will have export image dialog box. So I can just choose the format if I want to sharpen or not size, I can resize it and so on and quality and then I will just press export and that's it. This image will be saved and ready for some other tweaking, sending to social networks, printing or whatever I need. Right guys and that's basically it. You just saw how you can use the loop deck in combination with the Aurora HDR to make your editing faster, easier and much more fun. And trust me, editing with the loop deck it's really, really fun to do. And of course, to edit image in Aurora HDR, you don't need to use multiple exposures like I did in this example. You can use just one RAW file or even one JPEG image, everything is allowed. But using a multiple exposures to create an HDR image, it's better because you will have much more information to work with. If you like Aurora HDR and you want to try it, you can go and download the trial version. Or if you want to purchase it, you can go to their website, the link is down there in the description and you can use my coupon code, it's Nemanja and you will get really nice discount. So you have all information down there in the description. And of course, if you want to purchase a loop deck, you can go to their website and you can order from there. Again, the link is down there in the description. Read guys, I hope that you like this episode and this combination of loop deck with the Aurora HDR. So if you have any questions regarding to this episode, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. Right guys, see you in my next regular tutorial. Bye bye.